Let me tell you something, brother. Hulk Hogan, a wrestling icon for many all around the world and also a controversial figure. I'm not gonna go down either of those paths that much. I'm here to talk about this. This is the Hulk Hogan Thunder Mixer. Yes, this is one of two Hulk Hogan kitchen gadgets that we've got today. Remember recently I did the George Foreman Grill video Goodness me. And there's that famous story about how Hulk Hogan famously turned down the opportunity uh, for the George Foreman Grill. And I said, I think he went for a fizzy drink instead for my initial research. A lot of you said it was all a lie. Others pointed me towards this. So this one cost me about $20 plus shipping on uh, eBay. It's called the Thunder Mixer. The quickest, easiest way to mix. It's obviously like some sort of spinny, uh, fluidy thing. Water resistant base, a mixing whisk, a leak proof gasket, that's very handy. The blending cup and a lid. And apparently it's got Vortex technology and there he is posing, add, blend and drink. It's kind of like one of those things where it's on the go and it literally is on the go because it uses batteries. However, the other day I was in b and I just spotted it, I was like, hang on a sec, the Thunder Mixer just arrived. This is Olympian Mo Farah, um, he's a British athlete, recently retired. Um, this is exactly the same thing, except it uses AAA batteries. Yeah, it's like literally 30 years younger. Instead of being the Thunder Mixer, it's the Hurricane Protein Shaker. Slightly bigger vessel, still got like the leak-proof lid and, um, well, this one's AAA battery, so I don't want to use that. Whoops, it's all about this. Oh wow, is that it? <laughs> It's actually in really good nick considering. I don't think it's been used that much. And there is basically just that button there. Oh, it didn't come with batteries. Damn you, eBay seller. Oh, that was a noise. <laughs> oh, can I do that again? Oh. <laughs> For wrestling fans, maybe Jerry the King should have done that one, eh? <laughs> yeah, so I'll give this a wash. There's the plate there. Oh, the battery's just literally sitting there. It's so simple and lightweight. I feel like you could probably get this on AliExpress or something. It does have a little recipe manual, but on the box is quite interesting. It says you can make diet shakes, health drinks, baby formula. Uh, Mrs. B works with kids part-time and said like she does not agree with that, so she told me not to do that. Milkshakes, yogurt shakes, cappuccino, instant pudding, instant coffee, salad dressing, gravy, kids drinks, cocktails, whipped topping, and scrambled eggs. We might be doing some of them. But first, I want to see that 12,000 RPM. I want to see the cyclone, so we'll wash it out and just put water and batteries in it. They are in there now because the lid wasn't going on. There we go. Right, see this crown? <laughs> it's pathetic. What? 12,000 RPM, really? Put the lid on, remember this is what we're trying to achieve. What? Wow, <laughs> I love how it still spins. Oh my gosh, right, first one. Iced coffee. So one part milk, two parts coffee. A little shimmy of cinnamon goes in there and I'm just following the recipe. I am so glad I did that with water now because you can't see, you can't see the thunder. So we've done that and you can see Mo is back. Come on, let's just see what he does. Oh, it's quieter. Looks about the same, doesn't it? So not only did the rum school help me make pizza rum, they also let me have this glass, which is nice of them. <laughs> I really want to start referencing old school wrestlers, but I'm not going to make it that type of video. <laughs> I love wrestling. Oh, that's pretty good. Right, next up. Fountain of Youth Shake. It doesn't say any other context than that. It's just like fountain of youth shake, whatever that could be. We've got some water in here already. Uh, this is some plain yogurt. A drop of maple syrup, honey. Oh, look at it, that's disgusting. And last, by no means least, this is flaxseed, okay? I actually um, I don't think I've ever used this before in a video. Go on. <laughs> now I've got a frog spawn. <laughs> Looks amazing. And now, for the time being at least, it's sort of settled and it's hissing. It's trying to escape. I uh, once met Hacksaw Jim Duggan, bizarrely. He came to my local village in Whirl. Like, that's like round the corner from where I live. It was unbelievable. No more wrestling chat, okay? Let's enjoy our fountain of youth. Oh, it does smell of yogurt. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's a bit gritty with all the seeds in it, but I think it adds a bit of texture, but that... That's really nice. So if I look suddenly 30 years younger in the next video, you'll know why. 
The only downside to that is I feel like I've got it all stuck in my teeth. Now, the cool thing about this is you can also use it on the go. Right, Mo? That was funny in my head. Salad dressing. Out in my garden on my picnic table, I have a random bowl of salad that needs to be dressed. Uh, yeah, welcome to my dojo kitchen studio thing. It's still a bit of a bodge. I'm nearly, nearly, nearly there. Um, I put a bit too much dressing on this. <laughs> it's absolutely soaked in it. Mmm. That's really, I'm really impressed with this gadget. Right, let's get back inside. I mean, we are inside, but you know what I mean. Hopefully this is looking all right for you. I'm loving that sign. That's popping really nicely. I am actually quite impressed with this. Like, of course, it's just a wish. There are budget ones and we've seen that even more modern ones are available, but it's done everything I really wanted to see. I mean, we've got the gravy you could do. You could thicken cream and whip up puddings. There was one other thing on there that stood out though earlier that I mentioned, scrambled egg. I'm not saying we put raw egg in there and beat it, although that would actually do that. Yes, we will. But there's another Hulk Hogan gadget that is sort of giving me George Foreman vibes. And I very nearly said George Formby then, when I'm cleaning thunder. When I was looking for the thunder mixer on eBay, I also stumbled upon this Hulk Hogan Ultimate Grill, which cost me over 70 quid and it's blooming heavy. It really is, but I think this is quite cool. It's got two power controls, two trays either end to collect fat, it can do this, okay? It locks there, however, there's a button. Push button to lay flat. Oh my gosh, I feel like a DJ. Look at this. It's a cooking mixing desk. We're not gonna go crazy on it. I just wanna see if it works. We're possibly culminating in a really bizarre cold breakfast. Bacon and toast. Oh my gosh, this smells so bad. It goes all the way up to well over 220C. I'm gonna go a little lower than that and we'll get this one warming as well. Now, one thing I wanna show you, remember those trays I showed you a minute ago? Can you see there's a little hole there? So when you're cooking with like fatty foods, like burgers or whatever, or bacon like we're about to, the fat should run into this canal, into the hole there, and then into this weird tray thing, which smells like an ashtray. <laughs> this bit, which is the lid, is warming up way slower. Anyhow, some spray oil. Oh, look, this is actually working. And I thought wrestling was fake. Like a George Foreman, you can see the fat coming off and slowly running down there. Oh, oh no, my bread's sticking. Oh, I think because of the butter, it's seeping into the grooves. Hmm. I mean, that'd be my only thing right now is I have been regularly like spray oiling this bacon and it's like really like burning badly. It's not a great, it's not a great non-stick great but you can't deny it is charring it and i'm i'm going to take that bacon like that and i've got a hungry dog i can confirm that these plates get hotter than the sun mcdonald's apple pie territory it's been about 40 minutes i've managed to just wash them after they cooled down but so hot they really hold the heat well test number two Pamini. and i don't trust it still so i'm going to push this button take this one off see these grooves here you line it up with that and then push it down here and that's that, what that button sort of saves you there. Unfortunately, I don't know if it was supposed to come with more plates like that. I only had the one because for the toast, that would have been great. I'll tell you one thing though, I wouldn't mind your help with. Why would you want this mode where it just sits like that? But there's something much safer about being able to lower it like that. I'm just going to go spinal tap on it, okay? Ham and cheese. Hulk Hogan is making us a panini. Yeah, I'm not going mad. Some of you were literally insisting that he did lie about that whole story about the phone call that he missed or something. I, I, I don't want to go into it, but I am, again, so far, it's chunky, but it's a good one. It's actually been five minutes. Maybe it takes so long to warm up these 28 inch pythons, brother. I said, I'm, like, no more, no more, right. Ooh, look at that cheese melted in there. The bottom, the bottom, the bottom, the bottom, the bottom. Let me turn this off. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Is the bottom burnt? Yes, it is. Damn it. Ah, oh, my bottom was too hot. Oh, wow. Yep, 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 yep. Look at that. I have got to scrape this plate and let it cool down because the finale involves bringing the two together in the ultimate tag team. Scrambled egg. 
because like we said earlier, the Thunder Mixer can do scrambled egg, but how? We will, we will whisk the eggs together to make the beaten eggs. We'll then make the scrambled egg or cook it on the flat plate here, not in the grooves. And we'll then return it back to the Thunder Mixer, which I think is for the original purpose of whipping up cooked egg and turning it into scrambled egg. That should, I think that's how it works. Okay, finale time. All that, uh. Look at that, there we go. I cannot explain how hot that is. Oh my goodness, we've done it. I really don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> right, come on. Right, there was no recipe in the manual for scrambled eggs. We beat the eggs, if that's what it meant, because then we could make eggs which we could scramble in there or anywhere else. Come on, one last try. Well, we have got some egg. Well, here we go. Cold bacon, cold bread, but warm eggs. Oh, that is such a weird sensation. <laughs> the bread is so cold. It's like re -chari. Let's tap out on this then. So the Thunder Mixer and the Ultimate Grill. I think the Thunder Mixer for drinks and things, very simple stuff, do not scramble egg in it, was really cool. And there must be a reason why it's rebranded so much. The Ultimate Grill has really caught me off guard. If you could control the temperatures a little bit more, that has got so many uses and I did not know it existed. So maybe let me know what you think down below. Cheers for watching, see you later. This stinks of cigars. I have tried everything in my power to clean it. It absolutely stinks.